What is up my awesome YouTubians? So, do you want to know how to set up a sector trader and auto miner or auto trader? Then stay tuned. Okay, so currently I am in our <clears throat> cheaty save that I made last time. I'm near the Argon Wharf. This is in my um, legitimate let's play. This is where I bought my first miner. And this is how I set it up. So I went for a medium sized drill vanguard miner. Um, this isn't about which is the best miner, what are the best, what's the best gear for a miner. This is just how to set up your miner. So right away we're presented with all the parts to um, attach to our miner. Um, what I did in my let's play which is um, a little bit bugged up due to the Vulcan engine and OBS uh, whenever I'm near a station everything starts to stutter and um, if I'm in, even in the map view moving around the map view just panning around um, I get a, a lot of stutter as well apart from that in game everything looks smooth so um, the first couple of hours of the let's play has been pretty messed up so hopefully someone out there in the, would like to leave a comment in the comment section tell me should I start it all over again or should I just carry on from where I was giving a little explanation as to what we've done and what we have anyway whilst I was blabbering on as you can see I've been attaching bits and pieces so on our front I attached our mining drill on our sides I placed on two turrets two pulse mk1s um, I didn't get the mining mk1s um, to be honest I, I thought these are gonna help or would work for, for the actual defense of the ship provided if something attacked them not that they're gonna do much um, for the shield on my legit world uh, uh, save I chose the MK2 shields I believe and I just went for a normal um, engine and normal thrusters as for software I did give it a docking computer I did give it uh, flight assist I gave it a long range scanner you need to choose one and I gave it a basic object scanner targeting computer I thought they might need it for the turrets so someone out there is going to definitely correct me on that in the comment section below and trading computer extension because I th think they might need it just to sell the stuff so again correct me if I'm wrong in that box down below as for consumables I didn't choose anything I mean in the in your well at least in my game I only started to set this up when I had my first million um, so captain is mandatory I did give it two crew members I did give the ship two crew members um, I believe that they will help out with repairs if um, needed so I didn't go, go all out with that and to be honest with you all I don't even know if there's an upkeep or you have to give them um, a salary every I don't know when I don't know how that works so I don't know if we've got any payouts to do so that is that um, that's pretty much the ship covered so we're gonna go add to shopping list it's got an estimated build time of 1 minute 30 and um, total price 465,000 and that's our final balance and remember this is my cheaty save just to show you all some bits and pieces so I'm gonna confirm this order we're gonna pop into our map view and in our map view we can see our little drill miner who is being constructed right now 
And this is another reason why I did uh, want a GT save is so I can try things out before I actually commit to something in my legitimate save. So anyway, I'll bring you guys back once this is constructed. Okay, so I believe our drill vanguard, our miner, is constructed. I'm going to go into the info panel uh, by hitting I. Uh, in the info panel, I'm going to go on behavior. As you can see, its current default behavior is on hold position, which you don't want. Um, I also believe that we have an ore refinery. And the ore refinery needs ore. So, as I know that this exists in this sector, I'm going to set the default behavior from hold position. I'm going to set it to auto mine. And then I'm going to give it the where's ore. Because I know that refinery needs ore. Now, I'm not telling you all what to mine, what is best to mine, or where is best to mine. Just showing how to set this up. Um, in my legit save, I set this up to two, so you can go mine or collect whatever wares you have here, uh, like two sectors, two gates away, so it will go through this gate and another gate to get whatever. So I'm going to confirm that. And there he goes. So he's going to undock. Let's go catch, catch, catchy, catchy, catch him up. So I haven't seen, even in my legit save, I didn't see it undock. I haven't seen how bad the auto pillock is going to be in this. Well, that was pretty dull and dark. Okay. So right now, our drill vanguard, who does not have a commander, has a command of free mining so we shall follow and check him out this is also my first time actually seeing one of these do something because I have tried to stay away from uploads of other content creators or from Egosoft themselves uh, demonstrating the game trying to go into the game pretty blind okay so now it's cuts searching for resources and calculating perimeters it's going to gather resources in our grand prime and it is currently flying as you can see bottom right of our screen storage is zero out of 4900 so i'm trying to keep some distance away from it because knowing how the auto pillar works in this game we don't want to confuse it let's say for example we were out of sector out of this sector that our current miner is in he wouldn't be turning around or plotting courses it would just fly straight towards this asteroid field if we were out of sector it wouldn't even need to dodge any of these asteroids it would just fly straight through it park itself and just say that it's collecting stuff so as we are in sector with our miner, um, it's going to be dodging stuff. So it has to plot courses. It's going to be a tad slower to do things. Now, if I am saying something wrong, I am pretty sure someone out there is going to correct me. And please feel free to do so. So for now, let us check out how this thing is going to do stuff and how badly it's gonna dodge any of these asteroids so right now it is trying to mine this asteroid which on the bottom right it's saying that it's empty oh god okay um, so it tried to mine an empty asteroid. Now could that be due to our scanning software that we installed? Does it need the second tier of um, the scanner? 
So if somebody knows that, please leave it in the boxy down below. So right now it's just going around shooting asteroids. So far it hasn't collided into anything. Just surprising. Hello. We've got a green thing there. It looks like it's going to be picked up. But I'm saying that it's an empty asteroid. Well, whatever it was, it collected it, but... If, from looking at the bottom right there, it said it was empty. So I don't know what the hell that is all about. Looks like it's found something else to collect. Another empty asteroid. Now remember, these issues could be because I am in sector. So we're still at 0 out of 4,900 storage. And it's just going around, to me, looks like it's randomly picking out asteroids and poking them. I mean, surely it can tell that whatever the hell it's looking at is empty. So again, I'm getting to the conclusion that is because we are in the same sector. Again, it's another empty asteroid. What in the balls is this thing doing? And all these asteroids are saying that they're empty. Whatever I'm clicking on. So, the next bit that I'm going to do is... Let's see if we can pop down a resource probe. Let's see what that is going to show us. So we've dropped down our resource probe. We can see that only one thing has silicone and ore. Oh no, sorry. Actually, the silicone, uh, the the resource probe is picking up or is seeing. There's 21 silicone and 21 ore, and still we're at zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of sector and see what is going to happen. So honestly, this is a load of bollocks. Everything that is tagging is empty. Everything that is trying to pick up has nothing on it. So I'm going to go out of sector. Okay, so I'm going to go out of sector from where our miner is. And see if that does any difference because this is just taking forever and like you've been seeing, it has the collectibles that show up in green, yet they are saying that it's empty and our storage is not going up. Okay, so we should be well enough away from our, mo from our uh, miner. I'm just going to open up our map and see what the hell this thing is doing. So I'm just going to sit here looking at this, obviously. I'm not going to let you all just look at a map doing nothing, so I'll bring you guys back once something starts to happen. Okay, so magically, without me, I mean, I, I, just, I just took my eyes away from this and I just went to have a look around where, where we were to see if we can get any uh, asteroids or for ore to show up. And I look back, and there it is, sitting there with a full load. So this is bloody insane. This is driving me up the wall.
Any hoozle. Let's go next to it and see how the auto pillock is gonna do next stations. Okay, so we're here where our miner has been mining. So right now he's searching for trades. He should notice that there is a factory that needs ore. So how, if you're probably asking, how would you choose a sector to start up mining? Well, I would choose a sector that has more stations that need either silicone or ore or nevidium or whatever raw resource. And for some reason, it's just dropped some of its storage. From 4,900, it's dropped down to 4,060. Um, so yeah, how would I select a, um, a sector? I would select a sector that has the raw resources and that has a number of um, stations that require either the ore or the silicone or the nevidium. Preferably, if the, the more, the better. So you're not just giving just to one um, and then oversaturating it. Because the more it has, the less it's going to pay in credits. The more stations, the more miners you can have running around in that sector. As you can see, it just popped up at the top here. So it's got an estimated or how much we will actually make is 20,000 just from that ore. Um, I believe with my silicone runs that I'm doing from the one trader in my legitimate game is making about 50,000 um, 50, per delivery. So as you can see, its command is now trading with the ore refinery one. Is currently flying towards it. So I'm going to follow it and see what is going to happen. For some reason, I don't know why it has not initiated its travel um, mode. Well, there it goes. Actually, it's going to do it now. Perhaps because I was too close to it. We don't know. I don't know. No one knows. Nah, I'm pretty sure somebody does. Pretty sure someone is going to start screaming at me in the comment section. Telling me, oh, You've been doing it wrong, you stupid nerd. This is how you do it. But by all means, go ahead. Okay, looks like it's just jumping, um, sorry, not jumping, coming out of its um, travel mode. And we didn't see it. Bloody dock. Oh, that's so... Well, that was irritating. I wanted to watch it dock and stuff. There it is. And it undocked because I'm such a slow... Slow and useless pilot. Oh well. So that, my awesome YouTubians, is how the auto miner works. And he's going back to the free mining thing. And I'm not going to stay around here to watch it bug up. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to head out of this sector. Yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out of this sector, purchase a, another ship, and uh, start to set up or Auto Trader. Stay tuned, and be our boys. Okay, so I just popped into Arctic of Ours, uh, Faith, right? Is it? Choice? Choice. So, I'm going to select our wharf. Right click it, buy ships, select 
select the medium sized chip and we're going to go with um, I don't know one of these for a transporter so this can hold containers our miner can hold solid storage um, none of the two can hold liquid storage so something to point out um, okay so we need some engines some thrusters again choose these how you want one of them one of these and one of those have a look did we miss and leave anything out does not look like it very good software I know it doesn't need it but I'm gonna give it to him those two to be honest I'm gonna give this one a long-range scanner I don't know I honestly don't know what difference is gonna do yet one basic scanner uh, targeting I don't know if it needs it for the turrets and uh, yeah it even asks for a trading software so we're gonna give it that crew captain mandatory and we'll just give it two or three or four I mean this is my cheat to save I can go all out but I know most of you don't have a cheat to save and you're doing this legitimately so you won't be able to buy all of that perhaps you'd have to buy something or cheaper bits and pieces it's still gonna work as long as you have the software and you have the ship type and engines for it to move anything that's red if it's red you have to buy it so that is a th oh crap did I no I didn't piss it up okay so we're gonna confirm order again we're gonna have to wait um, come on let me select it we're gonna have to wait 40 seconds so I'll bring you guys back okay so our Mercury Vanguard is up and running so the question is where would you set up an auto trader well as we have our miner supplying stuff to the ore refinery and the ore refinery produces refined metals and what else buys refined metals do okay so our hull part factory buys refined metals so we can simply I'm assuming that it's going to go to the ore refinery and sell to uh, the hull part factory we do have a medical supply factory does this take no it does not okay so would I set up properly here no I wouldn't but just to demonstrate how the auto trader works is pretty much the same we can say auto trade in Argon Prime or auto trade to Galaxy now for now I would not say auto trade to Galaxy I would just keep it in this sector However, I do want to check out the behavior tab, like our miner, to see what default behavior we have. So we have a plunder ability. I didn't notice that before. That is awesome. I like this. I want to try this. You can see our auto mine is grayed out because um, I'm assuming it's the wrong ship type so yes I'm gonna select auto trade now we can give it the wares to buy or sell um, I suppose if we just wanted to supply from the ore refinery to the hull pot factory we would say to supply it with the refined uh, what was it refined ore yeah refined metals we could say just to trade in refined metals, I am assuming. Um, but I'm not too happy with that, so no, I'm not going to do it from the behavior window. I'm just going to go right click. I'm going to 
left click and then right click on our map and I'm going to say auto trade in Argon Prime. So I'm checking out what its orders are and where is it going. Um, I still get lost in these maps. So by the looks of it I can't see it from there. Okay well I'm just going absolutely utterly blind. So that's all I get. All I get is auto trade and Argon Prime and one order queued but I'm not seeing what station is going to and what the hell it's going to buy or how much it's it, how much it's actually going to spend oh crap don't tell me I clicked something by accident please tell me I don't click something by accident what the hell did I do I need to watch the footage back on that because I don't know what the hell I just clicked. But it looks like now that it's obviously it's going to that refinery like I said it probably would and that it's going to go and sell at the uh, Hull factory. What I'm not seeing is how much is this going to cost us and what is our profit going to be. Yes I can see that up there but I think that is the total profit between the two um, ships that we have in this sector see I want to know how much this particular vehicle is actually making but as you can see it's picked up from the ore refinery it's currently docking but I still don't know how much um, how many credits it's using I don't know. I don't think we can set a limit as to how much our traders um, can can go, can, can, can use. You know, like, don't buy anything if our credits are, I don't know, like 1000 credits. So that's something I don't know how to do. I don't even know if it is in the game as a command or not. Okay, so I didn't click anything. This just opened up by itself. Just, you know, pointing that out. Um. Alright, so right now it's undocking. I honestly don't know how I'm going to uh, chop this upload out so it's going to be shorter for you guys. Which bits the skip. But that is taking a hell of a long time to undock. Hello, something's happening. So, it's going to sell the refined materials. I believe our miner just delivered Right, let's have a look. So the drill vanguard uh, sold some stuff by the looks of things. Is it there too? He just made 19, another 19 from that. Like I said, I our silicone um, in my legitimate save is doing about 50, 40 to 50 k, um, depending on how saturated or how how much we or how fast the stations are being filled up with silicon so the more stuff they have the less they're gonna pay you um, but there is nothing from our auto trader there is no, no message from our auto trader saying look I just bought such and such at, at such and such price unless I'm going absolutely blind but I'm not seeing anything and I believe we used to have these details in X3 and I think they were in probably Rebirth however I did not play Rebirth that long as uh, let's just say it wasn't my cup of tea okay so our trader is about to land at the factory for the hull parts it's saying we're going to get what 90k from this trade I well it's not saying we're going to get 90k from this trade it's saying that we've got 90k coming in from trades overall um, clicking on it doesn't do anything so that is that's quite dis disappointing um, I used to like the whole 
of all the figures, all the, the data, the information coming in um, from like IX3 games, what sold what, how much did it buy of what, profit made. That this is very... it's too simplified, I think. Okay, so it's deciding to do something else. There we go, it made its trade. It's going to undock. Now hopefully, I did not accidentally click on refined metals. So I am not going to touch my mouse. Even though it's a nice mouse. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to sit here and look at the screen. Okay, so about two minutes has passed. Um, I haven't clicked anything. But what I did want to try was the max gate distance to buy and max gate distance to sell. I'm going to try and bump these up a little um, to two each. See if that will do anything. Okay, so what, like a total of four minutes passed before it decided to choose microchip factory one and to go and sell at the component factory one as well. However, the difference being is due to us increasing the gate distance where it can buy and sell, that is probably what has helped it decide. I don't know. So I'm going to let this run a little more, I'm going to let it complete this trade and then I'll let it complete another trade just to make sure. So for now, I'm not cutting it here, there's going to be more like I said, but for now I do have a question for you good peeps, is the question is, as my let's play recordings have been a little bit buggered up due to um, the Vulcan engine causing an epic stutter with OBS, ha it has uh, pretty much ruined uh, the first couple of hours of my gameplay. However, I have a workaround for the stutter and that is actually playing the game in uh, windowed mode and just cropping the footage that has stopped all the stutter in the recording it stopped the stutter even in the map i was getting stutter so should i start again and start the record from fresh the let's play or should i pick up where i where i am and just briefly explain what i've done and what i've got also what would you like to see from a let's play of x4 foundation and what sort of duration would you like them to be Apart from that, as always, comments, suggestions, whatever, leave it in the box below. If you see other people have questions about the game and you know how to answer or the answer, then please feel free to answer those questions. And what the hell is that? That just popped up there, the aqua what? Oh well, missed that bit. Anyways, I'm going to BRBs, let this complete this trade, and see what the hell it's going to do next. And that was a very squeaky next, sorry. Like I said earlier, as we are out of sector, it just went straight through. So they don't have a physical model, or physic, uh, any, there's no physics, there's nothing, there is just wireframe stuff when we are out of sector so things can just fly straight through now let's say if we were in sector it would have to fart around and fly around and whatever we'll probably get stuck into something if the autopilot is still the same anyway i'm gonna let this make us trade i'll bring you in when it does and once it decides to um purchase and sell something else I'll bring you in just to show you what it has chosen without me selecting anything from the list the only thing that we have done was to set the gate distance as to how far we want it to trade okay so I've just been keeping an eye on things our miner 
even though it has sold stuff it has kept 61 on it perhaps because it's just too low to sell but like I said I don't know where we can set um, a minimum and maximum to sell uh, the items for so like I said if any of you know this leave it in the comment section below so our trader is trying to sell some microchips So our trader has sold those microchips. Although I was trying to look to see at this this bit here, but it stayed at zero and zero. So again, I don't know how much they were bought for and uh, how much they were sold for. It would be nice to have a log of these things. And I'm hoping that I am just being blind and it's there. But we shall see. So. Like I said, I'm going to wait to see what this decides to do next, and I shall bring you guys back. Okay, um, this time it took far less time for it to decide on what to buy and what to sell. So it has decided to go to Argon Prime and to purchase hull parts. And to sell those hull parts at the wharf in Argon Prime. So there you go, my awesome YouTubians. Hopefully this has helped you or answered a few questions. At least for me, it has left me with many questions that need many answers. So if this has helped you in any way, or if you've killed some time with me, remember to smash that like and subscribe button, like they owe you money. I will catch you all on the next one. Take care.